the topic in this particular session is a language processing system so we shall discuss using this particular diagram so we know that whenever we write a program we usually write a program in some source language and the program thus produced will be known as a source program but a source program is not sufficient enough it might be taking help from other programs other modules written outside or residing outside so at first the source program will be handled by the preprocessor and which will import or which will include different other programs or program segments or pre-written program modules to have the complete environment so that my source program can run and sometimes preprocessor will expand some shorthands so that is also known as a macro i think all of us know the c programming in our c programming the preprocessors all those statements will be starting with the character hash we know that we are having hash include which will include different header files and which are containing the prototypes of different functions which will be used in my c source program we are having hash define say we have written hash define pi 3.14 that means this is a macro each and every occurrence of pi throughout the source program will be replaced by 3.14 so the pi will get expanded by this particular 3.14 value throughout the source program by the preprocessor so preprocessor will will make the source program into a different version of the source program and the modified source program will be made available to the compiler for the compilation process compilation means it will do the required translation and it will produce the program in some target language known as the assembly language because assembly language programs are easy to compile or easy to translate later on to the respective target language and assembly language programs are very easy to debug so that's why this modified source program will be taken as input by the compiler by this particular translator and which will produce the output program in some target language known as the assembly language and the respective program will be known as the assembly language program then the assembler will come into the play and it will it will convert that assembly language program to the actual executable code but the addresses for each and every module will be in some relocatable machine code format so what will happen here the actual the machine code will be produced by this assembler taking this target or the input assembly language program as input and producing relocatable machine code as output then the linker and loader will come into the play the linker will link each and every module of the program to some other modules or whose definitions are written outside so different modules will get linked so that my program will become ultimately an executable one linker will also create an header to the target program so that when the program will get loaded or will be asked to get executed and whenever the program will get loaded for execution then from the header part of that program the operating system can get the required information and do the needful loading then loader will come into the play when the program will be asked for execution each and every program is requiring some memory size to get loaded the loader will check the available free memory holes or loader will check the available free memory blocks where this program can get loaded and can have its smooth execution and this particular linker will produce this target machine code which will be loaded by the loader prior execution into the computer's memory so this these are the different phases these are the different softwares which will be linked or which will be helping this total language processing environment so this is my language processing system in which my source program will get converted to ultimately target machine code and always remember this machine code is platform dependent that means depending upon the target architecture depending upon the uh, operating system in which the program is supposed to run depending upon that the codes will get generated and this is my language processing system i think you are getting clear cut idea from this particular diagram be with us for the next videos where we'll be discussing lots of issue of this particular
compiler design. Thanks for watching this video.